All right, film fans, Lieutenant Fish back. One more comic unboxing from Short Boxtoberfest at Atlas Comics Charlottesville. So, it's the same day I did my last video on Tuesday. I just come back from picking up a third box of comics, but I didn't have time to put that one in the video. So, uh, basically, with that box, and then I picked up today was a Saturday, so Saturday afternoon, I went and got three more boxes and i i'm tapped out now i mean it's an amazing selection of books and we're going to talk about some of them here real quick uh you can see the stack here of sample books since i'm not going through the box like we did the other time but uh there's at least a dozen long boxes i never even went through much less uh other ones i would have tried picking up so this uh, today was almost all indie stuff with a few DCs and Marvels thrown in that I found randomly here and there. But uh, let's just take a quick look at some of the things I was able to find. A couple issues of Max from I Image. We got some Liberty Meadows. I haven't, don't think I've seen some of these more uh, older or later ones. I got about 40 issues of Savage Dragon starting from issue 2 and uh, a whole stack of issues. And they had a lot more, but I was trying to avoid some of the later ones. Uh, a couple issues of Pit. Some uh, Starlight by Mark Miller. Um, this one looks uh, interesting. I got a few issues of this. Um, it looks maybe kind of like that Jupiter's Legacy uh, one he just done more recently, oh, but I'll look forward to reading this. Zombie King. So Frank Cho doing a zombie book. Automatic buy. Uh, Gru, number one, for Image. I know, uh, I don't know, it's just, I, I like his stuff sometimes. Wildcats, number one, got uh, the first uh, 10 or 12 issues of Wildcats, the original run. Stormwatch, I got about, whew, at least 30 issues of Stormwatch, including the prequel run-up issues, the team one in the Wildcats previews as well. Some Youngblood, issue one. I think some of these are cheaper just because they're, uh, not in as great quality uh, or in as great shape. But either way, they were all eligible to be put in the box. Jade Warriors. So, I remember seeing this one years ago and thinking it was kind of cheesy. But at the time, I don't think I knew who Mike Diodato was. So, it's all his art. I don't think he really did much of the story, but uh, maybe. But uh, I picked up this three-issue miniseries. Turok Dinosaur Hunter by Valiant, number one. This book's in pretty bad shape, but uh, I'm still willing to bet it's better than just about anything that uh, Valiant's putting out right now. Warriors of Plasm. So, I picked up a stack of what I'm pretty sure are the full runs of Defiant books, because uh, the studio was only open for a couple years. And uh, there are definitely plenty of issues there if you want to check them out. But uh, I've heard various things about some of the t different titles, so, you know, it's worth a shot for the price I paid, that's for sure. Blood and Thunder. I have no idea uh, what this is. It just says Robert E. Howard. I pro it might be from a short story I've actually read, and I don't recognize the title off the top of my head. Oh, yeah, so these next uh, ones are all going to be random indies. This is what? CCP Conquest, whatever company that is. Black Eyed Susan by... I don't know the studio for this one either. Uh, interesting cover, though. Looked uh, appealing. This is Kitchen Sink Comics, Bernie Wrightson. Uh, seemed interesting. I think I got the whole miniseries, two of five. May is missing one issue. Golden in 3D. I have no idea what this is. Blackthorn Publishing. But hell, I got a little 3D filter on this uh, camera now. I'll give it a shot. The Futurians by Ardwolf Publishing. From the creators of Marvel's Uncanny X-Men. I don't recognize the name Dave Cockrums, but uh, Diversity in Comics might know him. Evangeline from LP. That could be Chuck Dixon, or it could just be a Charles Dixon. Who knows? This looks interesting, though. Cyberfrog. So, Ethan Van Skyver actually did a whole video on his uh, uh, video of this, and or his making of this, and I... Uh, did a tweet about a few photos of this. Picked up uh, about four issues, including number zero for this. Not the original. This is Harris Comics. Probably a reprint, I think. But, hey, it looks like fun. Great art. And Ethan Van Skyver, as usual. And Creed is the other title Ethan Van Skyver mentioned in the same video. 
and uh, I'd noticed it and went back and dug that one out today when I was there. So I got issues one and two for this. Looks vaguely familiar like something I did see in Wizard Comics back in the day, but I honestly can't remember at the moment. Some weird ones. Jackaroo, Australia's fantastic new ho hero from Eternity Comics. I have no... or Cyclone Comics. I have no idea. We'll give it a shot. Invasion 55, also by Chuck Dixon. Apple Comics. Valeria the She-Bat from Windjammer Comics. Interesting. Shanghai. This is Eternity Comics again. I got a couple issues from this. Ms. Tree. Ms. Tree. Max Collins, I think, was the creator of... Uh, Oh, what's the name? Dick Tracy, but I could be mistaken. But uh, it looked interesting. Renegade Press has a stack of these there. Modesty Blaze, just for uh, diversity in comics. I picked up a handful of issues from this. Looks like it uh, could be interesting. I've seen the trailer for the movie, but never watched anything yet. Lorelei, something something Red Mist, also from CCP. Uh, the big title here is... Ray Bradbury apparently wrote it. Uh, the title does not ring a bell, but a, I may recognize it once I crack it open. I've read just about all the short stories. Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. This is the first epic run, so this is Mark Schultz's original. And uh, if you go to Flesk Publishing, I'll include a link in the uh, v description, you can order reprinted, beautiful trade paperback, very high quality versions, much better than average commercial trade paperbacks from Flesk Publishing, and he's also just finished another Kickstarter uh, for his some more uh, original Xenozoic uh, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs comics. So check him out. And then this is Tops. This is not... Uh, Mark Schultz, this is someone else, uh, Roy Thomas, I guess, uh, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, so I'm looking forward to, I got a couple issues of this, it's not going to be too bad, I think, but the concept is just so amazing. Build the Galactic Hero, also from Tops. I know the character from the books I see in the bookstore, I've never read it. Teen Agents from Tops. Jack Kirby, written by Mark Bo Kurt Busiek, excuse me. So, uh, no idea if it's any good or not, but why not? We'll give it a shot. Now, we have From the Pages of 2000 AD. Let's have some uh, Slaying the Berserker. I'm pretty sure these are all U.S. reprints of the British originals, but I doubt this is colorized, but we'll see. Strontium Dog, another bounty hunter title. I know he, I have a couple stories where he interacts with Judge Dredd. IDW's Judge Dredd, to follow on with my DC Judge Dredd, and I think some other ones. And of course, Digging the Dark Horse. I got a stack of Dark Horse as well, so I got a lot of Conan. I, uh, almost all, every issue I picked up was Kurt Busiek writing. I didn't want to take a chance with someone else, but either way, I got a ton of these. At least 30 issues, easy, and a couple miniseries. Dark Horse Comics, which I think preceded Dark Horse Presents. This is number two, and that looks like a Mike Mignola cover to me of RoboCop. And that seems like a sure thing. I picked up a few RoboCop issues from Dark Horse and uh, Marvel as well. Kelly Jones the Hammer. I love this character. I love the uh, Lovecraftian themes and the weird uh, humor. And I have not got this miniseries because this was not included in the trade paperback that's been collected so far. Ghost. I read a lot about Ghost. Don't think I've ever read any of them yet. I got the first three issues of this one. Harlan Ellison's Dream Corridor Special. No idea what this is. We'll give it a shot. Robert E. Howard. More Robert E. Howard is always a good thing. Savage Sword. This is a little anthology book featuring some of my favorite characters. El Borak, Conan, Sailor Steve Costigan. I don't recognize some of those other ones, but we'll take a lot. Sh look, I got uh, issues two, three, and four of this anthology. Pigeons from Hell. This is a modern, I skimmed it, this is a modern retelling of uh, the original 1920s-esque uh, southern gothic horror. And there's a couple other, I might do a video on one of the older uh, painted versions of the story, but Robert E. Howard's horror is amazing. This is written by Joe Lansdale, so you know it's going to be good too. Ghost in the Shell, Dark Horse Dust Manga. 
Uh, we'll see how good this is. I know uh, their quality was very mixed, depending on the title. Venus Wars, got a few of these too. Danger Unlimited, I have no idea about this one. It sounded vaguely familiar, though. Fabulous, uh, Truce, Lives of Fabulous Killjoys. I love the album by My Chemical Romance. I like, I like the concept album. I love dystopian science fiction, so I picked up all five issues of this that I found. Why the hell, hell not, you know? Dark Horse Presents. So, I got a few issues of Dark Horse Presents. The big one here is Mobius. So, anything with Mobius or Jodorowsky is always a must-buy. And so that leads us to Metal Hurlant. Got a few issues of Metal Hurlant, a.k.a. the Heavy Metal reprint from early 2000s that I didn't already have. So, this is always a sure thing as well, depending if you like Euro comics or not, or that sort of theme. Silver Sable. Got a 30-issue run, I think, of Silver Sable, starting at number two. It's not bad, but uh, I have no idea. Uh, the character is vaguely familiar. I have a couple issues of her in Spider-Man, but... Uh, you know, if I can get a nice solid run of anything, I'll, it's more fun to read. Rock and Rule, a Marvel special. I love this movie. It's uh, amazing animation and one of the first uh, real uh, CGI-assisted uh, animated films from the early 80s. So I may uh, have to do a review of the movie soon for the channel, but uh, this might be fun. Sentry. I only got a couple issues of this, but I'm interested in the character after hearing Diversity in Comics talk about him. Man Thing Number 1 by R.L. Stein. Could be good. Maybe not. Ghost Rider. Got a couple, uh, this is, I think, uh, early 90s. Late 80s. Daredevil. Random issue. 223. Uh, got about 20 issues from Marvel Knight's version of Fantastic Four. I'm not sure the dates for this, but... Uh, you know, it's a good run, so it should be fun to read. Some more Silver Surfer. I think I got one of the other issues from this mini-series, actually, before. And then I got a couple... So I picked up some Mad Magazines, and then I found these Punisher Magazine and the Nam Magazine. A few issues of each of these, and this is just pretty nifty. So, I am basically tapped out. That's at least seven full short boxes I've picked up in the last three weeks. And I am really, really looking forward to putting my feet up and going through all of these. There is an amazing amount of stuff and material just, you know, for the amount of money I spent. And I do not regret one dime of it, especially uh, considering the overall value, the overall savings, and the mass of comics. So... This deal is ongoing with Atlas Comics Charlottesville for 10 more days. They are in Route 29 behind the IHOP, just north of Rio Road. They are closed on Mondays, so do not show up then. But you need to check out this deal. There are Most of these boxes are still 90% full. They're putting in new boxes taken out of storage to fill in the gaps where they start emptying out stuff. There are still thousands and thousands of issues. You know, most of these issues I picked up today, there were two or three or four copies, maybe. I mean, you can still get complete runs. Uh, some stuff I didn't show today, I picked up a stack of Mal Malibu comics as well. You know, all those image things. There's tons and tons of stuff. There's tons of Marvel, tons of DC, tons of anything. You want crazy indie stuff like I, I didn't even show? And they got fabulous furry freak brothers. They got all kinds of crazy hippie stuff and weird indie stuff. I have no idea. I haven't heard of 90% of them. But, you know, it's all there. It's all $25 for a short box for the next 10 days. You know, don't miss out on this deal. There are some amazing options. And, you know, you're getting your money's worth no matter what you pick up, even if it winds up being trash. At 10 cents a book, is nothing to complain about. So, highly recommend this. Check out Atlas Comics Charlottesville. You can't go wrong. Great customer service. Great uh, folks running the place. Buy local. Support your local comic book stores. That's it for now. Uh, new reviews on Thursdays like usual. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Lieutenant Fish, out.